Hi, I'm Lawrence, uh, DDP class of 2015. I study computer engineering and general business management. Um, I'm currently working at a pickup, a uh, local logistic technology company um, founded 2016, and then I joined 2017. Um, right now, I'm a chief product officer there. Um, so let's go back to how I started the journey. So um, in DDP, I think uh, it's a very friendly environment uh, to support uh, people like me who like the idea of innovation to actually just execute it like in a startup. So I, I remember the time when I in high school I already applied to some um, innovative or, or like creativity competition. Um, and then only after getting into DDP, I further realized um, the importance of integration of both technology and business. So without one, you actually cannot succeed in a reality. Then afterwards, I, I just joined uh, Accenture as my first job, but afterwards I still realized it's not what I want to do. So I, I just joined another company, pick up, and then started from there, I realized I can uh, utilize the things that I being taught in DDP program. And so back to DDP, I think um, like how it actually planted a seed of startup in my mind, I think it has three things I would like to mention. So first thing, it's um, the curriculum design is very good. So we are really taught um, both business knowledge and engineering knowledge, and then how we can integrate them with each other. Um, and, and not only that, like we also taught um, and also maybe even more importantly is the mindset that we are um, like cultivated over there. So, um, we can look at things at different angles. Um, then the second thing is about the TEMG courses, um, where it's, uh, at that time I joined the international case competition, so I actually get to see how real innovating technology company works. And finally, it's about a whole DDP family. So it includes students, um, that's why I can find my batchmate to start, start up um, during my university study. And then um, alumni and even professors actually will also provide support and even their own experience in startup entrepreneurship. Um, sometimes it might not be even a successful one, maybe a failure one still can te teach us a lot. In the end, I think the, the advice that I would give to students is that if you want to pursue a similar path, you cannot focus too much on short-term loss or gain, then you also have to be patient because the startup journey will be consists of like, you know, a lot of ups and downs and maybe in the end it's a failure as I said. Actually a lot of startup would fail, more of them would fail than it would succeed. Um, then in the end you still have to, you know, like have a mindset or you don't find yourself wasting time and, and in the end if it's success, if it's a failure, um, you still get a rewarding journey.